All right, let's talk about the movie Marlowe starring Liam Neeson. Marlowe is a film noir set in Los Angeles with a story we've seen before. We've seen before in many film noir films. Uh, a young ingenue enters Marlowe's office to tell him, uh, I, I need your help. I need your help finding this man. Uh, she was involved with this man, to what degree we don't know. and. We're on the search. We later find out that this man was murdered. His head crushed by a vehicle beyond recognition. But was that the actual man? Or was he faking his own death to cover up something, uh, some corruption, some big mystery? We've seen it all before. Uh, and as much as I love Liam Neeson, he is walking through this, this movie. He is like a zombie. I felt at times he was like reading off cue cards. Um, at no point did I feel like there was any sort of serious acting chops. Like we've seen, like at least with some of these cheesy uh, Liam Neeson movies, there'll be like one or two scenes where you're like, he's gone full Neeson. This is great. Nothing here. Um, it, it was, it was uh, kind of dull. I, I, there was nothing about it that was unique. It even felt kind of low budget in a sense. And for a film noir, it was the brightest looking film noir I've seen. I, I, I think I might've ever seen. It's so bright. There's no film noir. You always sort of associate with like darkness, right? Or at least like unique lighting, dark, the, you know, the, the screen is actually dark mm -hmm. at times, not the whole movie, but like there was nothing here. It just seemed like, daylight there was like there was no effort put into the cinematography if there was we there's such a th you know you always know when someone is praising the cinematography sometimes that's kind of a backhanded compliment because it means they can't compliment anything else the cinematography in this movie was bad and for a film for a movie that is aspiring to be a film noir it was pretty disappointing um the audience that i was with was kind of disengaged they just sort of sat there and then the movie was over i felt like this felt like a streaming movie to me and um, I don't know, I, it's, uh, I believe the last time I checked Rotten Tomatoes, it was at 11%. And as far as I can tell, there were no critic screenings for this film. I mean, I just went to see it like everybody else. Alan, you saw Marlowe last night. What did you think? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, um, it was a mistake for me to see the late showing because I was extremely tired uh, and I was fighting oh. to stay awake. Uh, the people in front of me fell asleep and they were snoring. <laughs> uh, yeah. You know, this reminds me of an episode of The Love Boat where you get all these celebrities to do, you know, to tell this little story. That That's what it felt like here because, you know, Liam Neeson did no effort into becoming a character. Uh, and, you know, I I think Alan Cummings was the only one who actually created a character in in this movie. Um, yeah, I, I, I'm was just not enamored by the story at all. And and I think when you say it was dull, I think the biggest problem with it was the cinematography. Um it 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 was bland in terms of camera camera scenes, shot compositions, it was just it was very subpar. And uh and again, you, you mentioned it, it was too bright. You know, you, you want that darkened room. You want that you want that feeling that Marlowe is this this loner, you know, this this uh you know, ex ex cop who disgraced cop, uh, and and you need to feel that depression, and and you're just not you're just getting a phoned in performance from everybody. It was totally phoned in, and then the cinematography it's what they call very flat lighting, which is television, mm -hmm. which is everything has to be bright, and there's no yeah. dynamism, so to speak. But it, it it um you know like look there are better movies that that have told stories in this world, such as L.A. Confidential. Uh, yeah. with Russell Crowe. Uh, great. There's uh, someone mentioned in the chat earlier, L.A. Noir, which is uh, which is a video game. Uh, video game. Sorry, uh, hit the wrong button. Uh, but L.A. Noir was, uh, is awesome. I started playing it. It's a lot of fun. It's a lot of like in that world of intrigue and there's secrets and uh, betrayals. And we've seen movies like this before. This is an incredibly weak version of of this story so cannot recommend i cannot recommend marlo it's a, it's a hard Definitely. pass 
The fact that you could hear the people snoring in your screening, Alan, I think that says a lot. Yeah. Well, I mean, it was also at one of those theaters with the recliners, and these recliners go all the way back. So you're you're uh, literally in I, a horizontal position. <laughs> I love. So if you if them. you need a place to sleep, uh, to get a nap, uh, Marlowe is a great movie uh, yeah. to see. Yeah.